Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. If it's your first time here today, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will be really grateful for that. I'm so sorry I've been MIA. December was one of those dry months for me. I was super busy. There was way too much going on in the background and I just knew I had to take a break for my own mental health. But I am back now, bigger and better. So today's recipe is this beautiful chicken stir fry recipe. It is so easy to make, tastes absolutely lovely. And without further ado, let's get on with it. So for this recipe, I will be using some boneless chicken and here I've got some chicken thighs. You can also use breast if you prefer. And this I will be seasoning with some garlic powder, black pepper, smoked paprika, onion powder, chicken seasoning, salt, and some corn flour and at this time i'm just going to mix thoroughly and after mixing thoroughly i will be covering this with some cling film and i will leave this to marinate for about 30 minutes you can do longer if you prefer Now these are the ingredients that I will be combining together to make my slurry, that's the sauce and I will quickly run through them. So here I've got some dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, oyster sauce, Chinese cooking wine, tomato ketchup. Now for this one I know a lot of people do not like to cook with tomato ketchup, you can also use tomato paste but I should warn you that it's going to be a bit tangy but you definitely can use tomato paste if you're not comfortable using ketchup. And I've also got some sweet chili sauce, which I'm using in place of sugar. A lot of stir fry recipes contain sugar if you're not aware. I know some people aren't comfortable using sugar, but that's fine. You can also use honey, but you definitely will be needing something sweet, you know, to help balance these, the salt in this recipe. And I've also got some chicken bouillon cubes, some corn flour and sesame oil. And quickly, I will be combining all the ingredients together. And I should mention at this time that you don't have to use every single thing that I've used in this recipe. You can pick and choose whichever one you want to use. Like um, you don't have to use the two soy sauce. You can use either the dark or the light soy sauce. You don't have to use both. And you can also skip the Chinese cooking wine. If you haven't got it, you can use some rice wine instead or some vinegar. That's fine also. And also you can use just salt instead of the chicken cube. So here are the ingredients for my stir fry. I've got some bell peppers here. I've got some yellow and red. You can also use green if you prefer, but I prefer these two colors. And also I've got some red chili. You can also use green chili or some chili flakes, minced garlic, minced ginger, spring onions, and lastly, some chopped onions. So here I've got a pan on medium heat and when it heats up, I will add some vegetable oil. You can use any other type of oil that you prefer. And then I will go in with my marinated chicken. And at this point, I'm going to fry the chicken until it is fully cooked and brown on all sides. And you will need to do this on medium to high heat. Please don't be tempted to add too much oil to your chicken. As long as your pan is absolutely non-stick, you should be fine with about two to three tablespoons of oil. So I'm just going to leave this to fry on one side and then I can flip them over later. And after about six to seven minutes of frying, this is what it looks like. The perfect color and texture for stir fry. The corn flour has given it this beautiful brown coating. And at this time, I'm just going to transfer them into a bowl. And now the pan is back on the heat with the residual oil. If you haven't got enough oil, you can add some more. And at this time, I will go in with some minced ginger and garlic. And this I will fry for about two minutes. Please keep an eye on it so you do not end up burning the garlic especially. Otherwise, the stir fry is going to taste really bitter. And after two minutes, I will be going in with some chopped onions. And then I will fry this again for another two minutes.
and after two minutes i will go in with my chili and my chopped bell peppers at this time you need to turn your heat up to high because everything you do from here has to be on high heat otherwise your vegetables are going to sweat out too much moisture and you won't like it so if you want crunchy vegetables you need to turn your heat to high and now i'm going to fry my vegetables for about two to three minutes please do keep an eye on it otherwise it's going to burn just keep an eye on it please and after that i'm going to go in with my slurry now if you're someone who likes your stir fry with quite a lot of sauce what you can do is double the ingredients for the slurry and this will give you some more sauce or another thing you can do is to add some chicken broth or chicken stock to the slurry and this will sort of loosen it up and also give you some more sauce but i prefer mine quite crunchy so i i don't like too much sauce in it so i'm just going to stick with what i've got and this i'm going to mix thoroughly now and then i will leave to cook for about two to three minutes And after two to three minutes, I will be going in with the cooked chicken as well as the spring onions. And this I'm just going to combine thoroughly and then leave to simmer on low heat for about a minute. And for those who prefer that stir fry with loads of vegetables, some, some other vegetables you can use for this are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green beans, or even carrots. So feel free to mix and match your vegetables. And after simmering for one minute, this is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful, incredible taste. The aroma is absolutely gorgeous. You really don't want to miss out on this recipe. It is amazing. I know I say this with loads of my recipes, but this, I had like three plates of rice the first day I made it. Yes, I'm not even exaggerating. It was that good anyway if you do try this recipe please let me know how you get on by leaving me a comment in the comment section and for the ingredients list and measurements that's going to be in the description box below as usual and i hope to see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe and have an amazing new year bye